Well, be how much is a gallon of milk? I don't know. Uh, but let me guess. Okay, hold on. I'm not gonna look at chat. So, I people might think, Wubby, you don't know what a gallon of milk costs because you're unhealthy. Or wait, no, I told that in reverse. <laughs> hold on, hold on, hold on. Wubby, you don't know what a gallon of milk is because you're rich. And I would say, no, it's because I'm unhealthy. There we go. P this is going to become like a weird rich person thing that people get weird about. Uh, that's not the reason. I don't know what a gallon of milk costs since uh, <clears throat> I started living on my own because I don't, I, I, I didn't shop. Like I don't, I don't know. I ate like shit. I could tell you how much instant ramen was. And then as I got more money, I could tell you uh, how much a Cane's order is, but I don't drink milk because I'm unhealthy. I'm working on it. But let me, okay, let me think. A gallon of milk, when I, okay, I'm gonna go with, I'm not looking at chat, a gallon of, what would I pay for a gallon of milk? Five forty I'd pay five forty nine for a gallon of milk. That's not the question. It's, well, okay, hold on. I live in San Diego, California. Let's see how much it is at a local grocery store. So let's do like Vaughn's San Diego. Uh, let's see, gallon of milk price let's see how close i was i said 549 oh my come on guys oh, look look right here right here on vons milk and cream san diego 499 i was 50 cents off and you guys are gonna say that i'm fucking tripping that was pretty good actually i should get a little bit of credit that's not that's literally it and that's exactly the milk i would get like the looser i've never said this word out loud don't judge me i know what this milk is i used to work at a grocery store i've never said this word out loud uh Lu lucerne lucerne i don't know how to say it that's not bad. 499. Okay. I think I did a good job. Also, this is crazy. If you are if if everyone in your house is not contributing to that gallon, that thing's going to go bad. I can't tell you how many times I've drained cottage cheese out of my milk jug uh, after a little while. A gallon of milk is for like a family household who drinks milk. I don't know how human beings go through a gallon of milk before it goes bad. I mean, there's a small window there, bro. Use it for cooking. We currently have a sour gallon of milk. Carlos, dump it. What, like what? If you're aware of it, it's got to go, dude. I eat a lot of cereal. That's fair. That's fair. I guess if you're if you're consuming Okay, I sell I say milk weird. Ah, we go through this every time and it makes me so insecure. Milk. Milk. <laughs> Wait, what was I going to say? Okay, you got me all fucked up. Oh, we were talking about Trader Joe's on this stream. We were talking about uh, Trader Joe's on this stream. So I said, you know what? I'm going to get give Trader Joe's a visit. I haven't been in a Trader Joe's in a while. I'm kind of a Trader Joe's hater. There's a lot of stuff there that I see at other grocery stores, but you want to pay more because you're a Trader Joe's guy. Sorry, I'm a hater Joe's. Just saying. So I went in to give Trader Joe's a try, and I will say there were a few. Okay, I was impressed with a couple things. I did pick up a few things, but overall, I was exactly where I thought I would be. I'm like, yeah, it's a, it's a grocery store. Whatever. Okay, it's I spent a lot for a little. So I have a story though. I do think that Trader Joe's took a shot at me yesterday after I took shots on it. Let me explain. So I'm at Trader Joe's and what am I shopping for? I'm shopping for, <laughs> you guys aren't gonna believe me. I'm shopping for healthy proteins, okay? Mostly chicken. I tried my hand at cooking some chicken breast the other day and uh, uh, and I completely nuked it. I mean, it, it it triggered my TMJ with how bad much I was chewing it and I had to throw it all out. I I don't know how to cook chicken. I, I frankly don't understand. Uh, it became uh, a weapon rather than a food. So I'm like, okay, I'm gonna go look for cooked chicken, already prepared. I saw some at Trader Joe's. In the little cool section, they had already cooked, already sliced, already seasoned chicken ready to go. It was cold and you can heat it up as you want. It looked delicious. I'm like, this is perfect. Okay, like father, like son. That's so mean. So I uh, go to grab the chicken and I flip it over to see. I'm just trying to read about it, whatever. And when I flip it over, the entire plastic covering that's on it flings open. The chicken smashes onto my shirt, rolls onto my shorts and onto the floor. Now, hold on. Let me say something. First off, you might already be thinking, Wubby, this is your fault. Nope. The packaging was open. Don't know who opened it. It was supposed to be sealed. Don't know who opened it. It sure as fuck wasn't me. That's first. Second of all, I'm now going to provide more context to why I almost cried in a Trader Joe's yesterday. Okay. 
I put on a shirt that I had not yet worn. I went to Abercrom I went to Abercrombie and Filch, okay, and I purchased a shirt there for twenty four dollars, and I was very excited because it fit me nicely. Now that be now that being said, okay. This was a shirt I don't normally wear. It was a nice light colored shirt. It was a nice cream color. And I really liked the way that it fit me. I was very excited. I decided I'm gonna wear it to Trader Joe's. I think it looks good on me. I'm gonna look good for all these hipster men and women. And I'm excited. Was this in 2004? You're so mean to me. You're so, it was a plain t-shirt. What do you mean? What, what do you, it had no, it, So I went to FUBU and I ordered some sh some jeans to go into Trader Joe's. <laughs> anyway, I was very excited for this new shirt, but also I'm overcoming, as you guys have probably seen in some of the videos recently, I'm overcoming my fear of wearing light colored clothing. Why have I stopped wearing light colored clothing? Because I always destroy it. I can't eat a meal because I'm a, a, a toddler. I can't seem to eat a meal without staining white clothing. And I've noticed I lose money when I buy light clothing. Same, it doesn't even matter. Dude, I will be so careful and when I'm done with the meal, like a, a rice grain size little bit of sauce is on there and I'll go to like try to get it off and it just, now my whole shirt has this like pink tinge to it. Then I start to get creative with it. I'll do this thing where I'll take my shirt and go, try to suck it off. Doesn't fucking work, nothing works. So I've stopped wearing white and only recently have I started coming back to wearing light colors because I want to be brave and beautiful and look nice and friendly. So that's the context of this. I go to Trader Joe's. I'm already feeling like I'm behind enemy lines. I go to grab the fur. Okay. Not to mention, I'm not going to say she was like hot or anything because she wasn't, but just a, a cute young girl was stalking the kale next to me. This happens. Okay. My beautiful shirt is ruined. It's destroyed. I am... Doing that thing that it might be embarrassing and might be autistic. She was 16. <laughs> I should probably delete her number then. So I, I looked down at my shirt. It's covered in just chicken stain. It's destroyed. And I look, I look like I woke up like a slob and came into Trader Joe's. It's all over my shorts. That's okay. My shorts are a nice dark navy green, if that's even a color. So it doesn't really matter that much. And... Uh, I'm doing that thing where <clears throat> I, <clears throat> how do I describe this without coming off like severely autistic? I'm just panicking. I don't even know what to do. I'm just like army green, not navy green, navy green, not I mean, as olive green, whatever you get the point. I'm like shaking and I feel like I'm going to cry. <laughs> and so I think the girl knows that shit just went down. I turn to face her and I go. Hey, the chicken just opened and it got all over me. I don't know what I expected, but what I, the answer I got, I was just, I'm, she goes, oh my God, I'm so sorry. Do you want a paper towel? And this is where my like internal panic and like autism turned to rage. And maybe I was too far with this, but I was like, I went, what is a paper towel going to do? <laughs> I said, what's a paper towel going to do? And she's like, oh, okay, so, you know, I'll get someone to clean it up. She's just trying to help my guy. Bro, my beautiful cream shirt is stained with chicken juice from their fucking bullshit faulty packaging in a store I don't even want to fucking be in. And she says, do you want a paper towel? No, lady. How about, I want you to take me to Abercrombie and Filch, and I want you to buy me a new motherfucking shirt because it's ruined. It's ruined. The shirt's ruined. The shirt is ruined. So then, so then, okay, in my hubris, in my, in my, in my, in my, I don't even know what, I'm expecting anything. Because let me explain. They're pa they had a package of cooked chicken, okay? And I don't know how to explain this. It wasn't like when you go to a store and they have the hot thing and there's some level of implication that the package you need to kind of hold i'm talking it was sealed like uh like anything else would be in a fucking grocery store it was a sealed package like you'd have to tear it open okay what do you mean get to the fucking point what who are you why don't you go live dickweed anyway bro i just work here i don't know what i expected but at the end of it i spent 97 dollars there 
Okay. And I walked up to the fucking front and I checked out and he goes, do you want paper bags? I'm like, no, I want to put more on my fucking shirt. Yeah, I want fucking paper bags. What kind of dumb? Oh, I have 15 fucking items here. Do you think I'm going to walk out and use my shirt as a sling, as a bindle? What kind of stupid ass question is that? I didn't say any of that. I didn't say any of that, but I'm like, yeah, I'll take paper. And I don't know why, but I thought they might come over to me and say, hey, here's a coupon for destroying your beautiful Abercrombie and Finch shirt. Nothing. Nothing. So I went into Trader Joe's for the last time yesterday. I spent $97 on some meat, some veggies, some granola. Okay. And I walked out $97 down minus $24 shirt out of touch. And you know what? I was going to, I did steal a succulent on the way out. And what are you going to do? Let me ask you a question, chat. If I used to work in a grocery store, okay? I used to work in a grocery store. If I, if a customer came up to me and said, hey, this package just opened all over me because it was open on the shelf. Like it shouldn't have been there. If a customer came up to me and told me that, I would have gone to my manager and be like, what do we do? We, we, like, we, we, they need to get something. We just ruined their whole fucking day. It was horrible! I almost died. Okay, I don't think you guys are taking this seriously, guys. I guess here's the... Okay, I'm allergic to chicken. And I could feel my... <laughs> I could feel my chest swelling up. They're not paid enough? They're not paid enough to what? See me as a human... You know what? I guess, I guess what I'm saying, chat, here's what I'm saying, right? I guess what I'm saying is I don't know what I wanted, but what I got made me feel really, really like, damn, fuck Trader Joe's. I'm never coming back here. Like you're, I, I, you know, what's crazy too. It almost sounds unbelievable, but I don't like Trader Joe's. The fur, it was the first thing I touched the first package. I, I was like, Oh, this chicken looks good. I picked it up. I turned it. All I did was turn it like this, and the whole top just rip. And if you're wondering what it's supposed to... Actually, hold on. I'll show you the... I bought three of those chicken packages. Let me show you what they look like. And so help me God, if this package opens and spills over me, I'm killing myself on screen. And you can't stop me. Okay. This is what I'm talking about. Do you see this? Do you see this? See what I mean? It's not... what. It's like the... Not only is the expectation to be able to handle this, the fucking dude scanning it is whipping it all around. It doesn't matter. I took it off the shelf and did this. Ready? Look. Look where the nutrition facts are. I did one of these. And it just all over me. Rich man bitches about retail workers. You want me to go mask off? You want to see what I can really say, motherfucker? You want to see what I can really say, motherfucker? Okay? You being nice. Oh, actually, I'm not going to do it. Bro, it's chicken. Who cares? It ruined my Abercrombie shirt. I'll never be able to wear it again. So I guess, I guess chat, what chat's telling me to do is I should have done this. First off, should it's a skill issue. Opt, ocular pat down, should have patted down the packaging, should have seen the flaw in the packaging from the get-go. I don't know how, but I should have used x-ray scan vision, which you guys know I have, to scan through to see that they weren't together. Then what I should have done is keeping a level, perfectly level hand, I should have raised up, Mufasa, turn, nutrition facts, acceptable, place into my basket. Then I should have gone over to the woman work, working there. I should have respectfully gotten her attention without making physical content. Hello, ma'am, who is probably a minor. I'd like to inform you that this chicken was open. Then I would take the chicken out and beat her to death with it. Okay, and then I run out of the store and steal six succulents on the way out. Why are they selling succulents? You're a fucking grocery store. Caitlin, thank you for the five. The point I'm making, chat, okay, this right here, look at this. This is, the, there is no implication that I need to be more or less careful with this. I grabbed it off the shelf and looked at the back. That's all I did. Look at how I'm handling this one. It was open. I'm going to go put this back in the fridge. I'm going to grab my inhaler and I'm going to come back. When I get back, chat is going to be filled with Bubby. I understand. Okay? All right, I'll be back. All right. Time to see what chat had to say. Wubby, show the shirt. No, I'm not going to show you the shirt. It's in my dirty laundry. <clears throat> Wubby, I understand. Oh, my God. Everyone's staring and telling me they hear me. That's my Trader Joe's story. I'm not mad. I do, I, I will give the full, I will concede that I don't know what she could have done for me. So what you're saying is you don't wash your clothes? Bro, it's over. You, you get anything on a lightly Maybe. colored shirt, it's over. It never goes back to normal. It just doesn't.
I, I, like white shirts, you get anything on it. On It'll always be like a, a haze of something was there. Always. In the booty hole. <laughs> it's it's kind of tight. I have a would you rather for you. Okay, well, hold on. <clears throat> I'm, I'm down to hear it, yeah. of course. You know Alex is getting old when she comes. Oh, you know, I have a would you rather for you. You know? Oh, yeah, see? I saw it on Instagram reel. Okay, let's hear Well, okay, <laughs> before Booty starts us off, <laughs> oh. let's hear that would you rather, Alex. I okay. can't wait. This is probably going to be okay. the most engaging okay. thing so I've if, ever heard. If, if, if your girlfriend and your mom had like a Freaky Friday situation, right? <laughs> I've heard this. <laughs> and then your girlfriend's brain is in your mom's body and your mom's brain is in your girlfriend's body, right? Who would you sleep with if you had Why to? Why do I have to? No, wait. If you had, the only way to bring them back is you have to sleep with one of them. Okay, so... So so, so uh, your girlfriend's body okay. with your mom's brain. Okay. Or your mom's body with your girlfriend's brain. I would knock out my girlfriend, who would be my mom's brain. I would I'd knock her out. Okay. Fuck the, fuck the unconscious. Yeah. I would ask their consent first. I'd talk to all of them. We, yeah, we'd yeah. have a sit down as a three. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'd have a threesome. <laughs> we'd have a... Actually, no, because... Well, technically. Because cause, cause this could be an opportunity... For what? <laughs> Kidding. So, so it, this is okay. You want a joke answer? Joke answer? Threesome. Okay. Re real answer. I would have a sit down with all of them. Yeah. I would, I would, with my mother's consent, <laughs> drug or knock out uh -huh. um, her. Yeah. And then, uh, and then I would, I would just fuck my girlfriend's uh, body. Yeah, I'd do the same thing. But if if they had to both be conscious, what if would they do? both had to be conscious, yeah, just fully conscious. I would. Be, okay, can I tell you the truth? Yeah. I would probably choose. To fuck my mother's body and my girlfriend's brain. Really? Let me tell you why. Because that is trauma that I will. I could just, you know, I, I, I what, what is it? What does it mean to fuck? Wait, I love that everyone's saying wow as if there's a good answer. There is no good. Everyone's answer. saying wow. Oh, cool. Then I guess I'll fuck my girlfriend as my mom. Well, I, mother's I would. I would. Brain's a good answer. What? It's girlfriend. It's not wife. There's no baggage. The good answer is you just break like, up. Hey, that sucks, man. Yeah. You know what? <laughs> oh, sorry about that brain thing. I gotta go. Yeah, you I gotta know what? go. Good luck with that. I think you just fuck your girlfriend's body. Because the only person traumatized there is your mom and no, that's she'll, fucking she'll die insane, first. dude. That's insane, bro. <laughs> I'm fucking your longevity. girlfriend as your longevity. I would never even look at my girlfriend's body the same. It would be ruined. I would just the think girlfriend's body would be ruined after I fucked my mom in her. But <laughs> but it would still... imagine 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 you okay fine. Well, let's, 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 let's really let's really go through this. Let's really break okay, down yeah, logistics. Yeah, yeah. Break okay? down a little listen, bit listen, listen. Mm -hmm. If you really break yep. down the logistics of this, okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. okay, this is why you're wrong. Yep. If you're let's say you have that conversation with your mom and you go, I'm gonna fuck you and you're gonna be as you're pretending to be a girlfriend. Please don't talk to make it this. What if at one point, just in the middle of it, at one point she can't help herself and she goes, Ugh. You are, Ooh, yes, that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Ooh, that's okay, what I'm you're saying. right. Uh, you know what? <laughs> you convinced me. Thank you. Thank you. Make it be a dark room. <laughs> oh. I mean, what, what what does it mean to fuck? Do I have but, like, to come? But like, you see, like your your mom's. Uh, she would know. She would know. She would know. You would rather she see your know. mom's body. Like, I don't think I would. Then have her see yours. I don't. It's not that. It's not that she. If you close your eyes, you still know you're having sex. Like, <laughs> what does sex mean? How are we defining Penetration sex? Penetration till completion. Well, then I've never had sex. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, it's hard for some people. No, but really, we have to come up with a, an agreed de definition of sex because that that does change it for me. Yeah. That, How about like five minutes? No, of, penetration till completion. So I have to come. Yes. Then I probably wouldn't be able to with my mom. I probably I'd have to do the girlfriend's body. Yeah. I probably would not even be able to get a hard on. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. I'm actually getting sick. When he fucks the pig. That was crazy. Yeah, that was crazy. Anyway. Pop tarts, huh? I know that I can't, we can't look at porn on stream, but if I were to hold up HP, his penis would be allowed to be shown. Stay with me. What animal genitalia crosses the line? And, and, and I would, I want Twitch to say, no, Wubby, you can't show a gorilla pussy <laughs> because, of, and, and I want them to say this because a gorilla pussy is too. Human-like? Like, where's the line, right? And the reason I pose this question is because I wanted to share with you guys a very funny video. Not even funny. It's almost, it's almost scarring of a panda giving birth that I recently stumbled on. And the panda is sitting there. She's eating herself out. This is going too far. Booty, unplug the internet. We'll just pretend stream went down. But, oh my god. 
And the baby panda, like, that's coming out, like, just pops out and get it's airborne the the baby panda gets air and that but un, but unfortunately there is and i want to show you guys this but there is very clear panda gash on and but see the question is right if i held up my cat and you saw you know the cat the cussy you guys would be like oh who, nobody cares right this is actually the the most pure and young child po that we could look at RN. <laughs> I mean, I literally I'm gonna look, I'm gonna play it right now. Oh, it's so it just it just it like it it gets air and then it smacks into the ground. <laughs> Hold on one more time. That's the tongue and then Ah, <laughs> bro, no, no, real. I'm, I'm serious though, chat. I know you might think I'm fucking around right now. Can I show this? I need anybody to weigh in on if I can show this on stream. Ask Maya. What would Maya know? Do not show it. But where's the line? We can't watch a panda give birth. I don't want to see it. What's wrong? What, what do you mean you don't want to see it? Well, what if, okay, what if I just, <laughs> uh, okay, what, uh, okay, what if I just, <laughs> what if I just show you the panda in air? Like when, <laughs> uh, staff says he doesn't want to see it. Okay, but that's personal preference. Yeah, cl exactly. What Chad just said, close your eyes, pussy. It's nature, Wubby. It's fine. Well, isn't sex nature? I mean, how far do we want to take this, right? What's well, natural? Nah, it's graphic. I mean, here I'll take a little screenshot of, and I'll I've I've carefully cropped out the pussy. With I was that was supposed to be me saying the panda pussy, but I realized that would just be the pussy. Okay, I'll show you this one frame of the baby airborne, and you guys tell me if you still want to see it. We have so much to do tonight, and I'm wasting so much time on this. <laughs> <laughs> oh god i just watched it why does that panda okay okay hold on this this comment guys we really need to get to the content but this comment has derailed everything daydreamer just said i just watched it why does that panda panda have an actual vagina first off how do you think animals work do you think like if you go to look at a horse do you, oh that horse has a horse vagina like it's a vagina it's a it, what do you mean like what did you expect it's a yeah it's like what do you mean pandas lay eggs it's true i've never seen a a, a panda not not lay an egg horse pussy hits different we are ending the conversation now you guys have killed it you've ruined it no, I know, but that's like a human vagina. My dog has a dog vagina. Daydreamer, you need to stop. You need to stop talking in this chat now. You need to take 10. He's right though. Okay, let me land real quick. He may be right. He may be right, but this is something you don't say out loud. I, this, this, I, I will be real. This, this is, it looks like it's been stuck onto the panda. It looks like a... It looks aftermarket almost. If that even does that even make sense to you guys? I mean, it looks like an aftermarket. It's not OEM, you know. Show the video at this point with how much detail I've gone into about this pandusi. I don't think we can show it, dude. What's crazy too is like pandas are covered in fur or hair or whatever it is, except this i mean i'm looking at it right now and it's looking back at me with with nothing between our gaze it's educational what is it teaching you tell me that what is it educating you on that thing has to get some air oh my god can we move on can we actually move on this is not the way to start this stream dude this isn't good this will not make it into the wubby sleep aid okay how could anyone hear this trying to go to bed knowing they don't know what the panda pussy looks like, right? You can't close your eyes and listen to this shit. I'm like, oh God, let me pull this up. <laughs> you brought it up? Well, I'm so, you know what? I'm so, I take some responsibility, but not all. Fun. It will 100% make it in the sleep aid. Then put up a photo of it if it's educational. Right now, if it's in the sleep aid.
Did a baby just fly to there? Stop describing it! Why is it so pink? I know! It's weird! It, the, the dude is right! It, he's so right! It's so it's like a highly detailed man pussy on there, dude! What's the furthest do you think one of them babies has been shot at? Stop talking about the panda pussy. Hey, when in Rome, you know what they say? They say, look at grandma porn. Here's a story I didn't want to tell. I'll make it short and sweet. I was working out. Dude was doing little, little like mop head TikTok fuckboy. I'm talking like tan, shitty mop, like the hair, like clean cut and then curly mop overlook in the front, gold chains. All right, dude was a twig. Never seen him at the gym before, whatever. Long story short, He's doing, he, yeah, broccoli, broccoli fuck face. Goober, doing curls, okay, whatever. But he's doing it in front of the rest of the weights. And there's clean looking 30s that I need to grab that are right next to him. So I'm walking up and I'm already seeing the situation as I'm approaching. And so with my headphones on and I, when I'm at the gym, I try to communicate as little as possible with words because I know I'm wearing headphones. I know the people are wearing headphones, okay? So I, I, I point as I'm approaching and I do like a one of these, you know, like a, like my shoulders go up. I point. And I, the dude does not. He looks at me almost annoyed and does not move. OK, now I want you guys to be aware. I am. You don't believe I'm over six feet tall, but I am. And I'm also a big boy. OK, and I'm instantly because I have too much of an ego. I'm instantly insulted. I'm like, like what? So instead of like waiting or anything, uh, every time someone approaches me, if I'm blocking the barbells, I don't care if I'm in the middle of a set. Anytime someone approaches, I take a couple steps to the side and then I just keep going. If I'm doing curls and someone needs the barbells in front of me, I go, oh, my fault. And you know what else? You know, I know I'm in the right. There are dudes twice my size at the gym who, if I get near, I'll be near them and they'll go, what's up? Oh no, you're good. You're good. The kindest dudes that I'll, they'll be hitting, they'll walk up and I'll walk next to them. They'll go, oh, do you need anything? Oh, okay. We're good. Anyway, anyway. So I go and I, I just, maybe this is kind of rude of me at this point, but I go up and I grab the 30s. I'm basically on top of him at this point. He cannot do curls now. I've interrupted his set. And we are just staring at each other. It is a stare down. I take him and I walk away and I go, I give him a little, you know, you know how it is. You know how it is when you're the top dog at the gym. I give him a little and I walk away. Now, this was the story I didn't want to tell you guys because it didn't have an ending. There's no good ending to it, but just know I survived a confrontation at the gym. <laughs> no, I just, dude, there's so much ego at the gym. It's crazy. It's the smallest dudes there who have the biggest attitude. There's been these dudes at the gym that I'll see, like, I mean, shredded, like scary, right? And time goes by. I'm there all the time. They're all the time. Eventually, we have to interact. And they take their headphones off. And they're like, anything? You need anything? I'm like, oh, my God, you're so kind. And it's always the little, like, fresh out of high school college freshmen you know jv football dudes who are just it's like oh my god bro we are sharing this space okay you don't need to be facetiming your girlfriend through your entire workout and mean mad dogging me when i walk through the video like what's wrong with you bro loudest monkeys have the smallest balls <laughs> Bro, how big do you think Helen Keller's balls were? That's something to think about, bro. So I was at the gym last night. Here's another quick one for you. This one is a good story. So I'm at the gym and I'm very careful about the women there. Okay. I make sure that the, the, the handkerchief is always fully saturated. I try to get full coverage. Okay. And I try to hold it so that way they're out instantly. When I'm at the gym, Anytime there's women there, <clears throat> I am extremely cautious because I am paranoid that I'm going to end up in one of these fucking uh, videos, right? Where it's like, look what I just saw at the gym. This guy was catching looks at me, right? The little AI voice. So I'm, when I'm at the gym, I am a, I'm a respectful king to the point where I, I like, you won't even catch me glancing, bro. I'm eyes forward. Not even because I'm not... Uh, not because I'm above that or something. It's just because, I, listen, I don't want the smoke. I don't want anyone trying to make accusations about me at the gym. Yeah, I, I close my eyes. So I'm at the gym. I'm in a little, I like to do my lifting in a little private area. <clears throat> I like to avoid everybody. So I'm doing free weights. Yesterday was, like I said, shoulders. Okay. So I'm doing my shoulders, doing some of these bad boys. <clears throat> and... When I, when I drop my weights in between sets, I like to pace back and forth in my little private area. And there's mirrors everywhere. And as I'm pacing, I see 
on a shoulder machine that I'm scoping out to use later, um, tight joggers and a fucking wagon, like bent in. I can't see. I just see the wagon hanging out and the the uh, the rest of the machine. And I glance just because I'm looking at the machine and I glance away. And in my brain, I'm like, okay, that was big ass, but I'm just going to get back to what I'm doing. Nothing to see, nothing to do. <clears throat> Go back, hit another set, pacing. And you know, boys know how it is. You know, if there was a dude walking around the gym with his dick out, you'd be lying if you didn't say you just glanced even as you're glancing around the room. <clears throat> so again, pacing around and I see it again. And I, I'm just like, I got to stop even going near this mirror because your eyes just land there. They just land there, right? I finish my set and I go to return my weights, which is now closer to this lady who has the wagon of a lifetime. <clears throat> and as I'm walking past, she turns, stands up. It's a dude twice my size with a beard bigger than me. And I had a moment. <laughs> I was like, holy mother of God. <laughs> I've never understood what a woman sees in a dude's ass, right? If you've ever been in a relationship or whatever, girls like asses. But like, I'm a guy that likes asses and I've never understood it. Now, I all at once I went, God, oh, I get it. Oh, I get it. Man had an ass That's on him, true. dude. Man had a, like, like, it wasn't like a fat ass. Man had like a fitness ass. Shit was dumped, bro. Like, like, like thought if, if he didn't have a dick, he would have a gap. Do you guys know what I'm saying? Take him to dinner. <laughs> He was like, dude, I'm not even lying. He was like this stout, buff, Middle Eastern man. He couldn't look have looked more of a man, you know, stereotypically. I mean, he had a big black beard. He was almost entirely bald with just like the the rim. Yeah, it was Hassan. Hassan was there. Probably a bottom. I don't think this man was gay. His name was Manmeet. Oh, <laughs> Manmeet. <laughs> Sorry, I did the voice. Hey, 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 he's together strong. I don't care where you are in life. I don't care where you are in life. I don't care what financial status you are in life. Unexpected bills are never fun. And I think I have the mother of unexpected bills, ladies and gentlemen. I think I win. I think I win. Well, win or lose? Exactly. Yeah. I think I win. Let me explain something. So I, uh, to, on, uh, was it Tuesday? I woke up Tuesday and got and saw that I had an email from my gas and electric company, okay? And the email said, hey, Big Dan, uh, looks like you missed a payment. Uh, please uh, uh, sign in now and pay to avoid uh, fees. So I said, oh, I'm on auto pay and I've been on auto pay since I purchased this house. Uh, I need to look into that because that's annoying that it was not on auto pay. I want it to be known here that uh, I am not, I was not sent to collections. Uh, and doing research on the bill, there were actually no late fees charged. <laughs> Phishing scam? Nope. Nope. Did not uh, click the link. I uh, went to the website that I've used. It was it, Everything was already autofilled. Uh, I'm not going to explain because I don't want anybody to you know, whatever. But the point is, I went to see the bill and my jaw hit the floor when I realized that I have not paid my gas and electric bill in a little over two years. <laughs> And not only that, I don't think my gas and electric company did not realize I hadn't paid my electric bill in over two years. So we kind of did this thing where we both side-eyed each other and then I paid it. Ladies and gentlemen, let me introduce you to a two plus year old electric bill that was dropped on my desk. I, they did it casually and I feel like they did it casually because they were like, listen, you're late, we're late. Let's just handle this. Yeah. <clears throat> This was placed on, and I went, at first I was like, what the fuck? This is an error. So then I went through and looked, and it was like, January, unpaid. February, unpaid. March, unpaid. And I went, oh, I guess I never set up auto pay. <laughs> no, no, no. Over two years. Over two years. Over two years, uh, uh, Mr. Mustache. So it's, uh, uh, I, I think it's close to two and a half years. <laughs> uh so um there you go uh <clears throat> i feel like you could have got kind of discount. some kind of discount the di yeah. the discount is that they didn't charge any extra fees on it 
Yeah, but like... Uh, you guys have to realize, too, uh, the, the electricity bill is high here for a few reasons. One, multiple people live here mul who all have their own individual rooms. Mm -hmm. Multiple people stream here. Almost every activity done in this house is just 24-7 computer usage. Not to mention AC. Everyone in this house likes it cold. Uh, and not to mention, on top of that, nobody fucking cares and turns off lights. I'm so mad. God, I had to sit down with everybody. Why do you fuck? Maybe turn off the fucking lights every once in a while, you dipshits. Also, like the watering of plants. Watering plants, uh, the cost of electricity, what, the pool, keep electricity to keep going. Uh, anyway, the point is, is it's not a lot month to month, and I can handle it because my audience takes care of me, obviously, and I try to make content that makes them feel like their $5 a month is worth it. But that being said, $24 fucking thousand dollars out of nowhere. I almost fucking killed myself, chap. I was sitting here, I'm like, ah, oh, what a great day, a day off, a Tuesday, kick up my feet. What the fuck? But then I also had like a moment of like, okay, I, I, I went through it all because I'm like, there's got to be... And I'm like, oh, I just wasn't paying. I just have not paid in years. And then I went, okay, why am I not in collections? Why have they... And so I searched my why email. Did you even tell them? I searched... Tell them what? Like, why did you even bring this to their attention? Bring who, who what to whose attention? The, the, the bill. To who? The electric company. I didn't. I just paid it. <laughs> I didn't do it. What are you talking about? I never brought anything to anyone's attention. I just went... Oh, fuck. And I hit pay. Oh, so you didn't talk to them at all. You just went. No, I just. So, okay. What, here's, here was my thought process. Cause I, okay. So I saw the bill and I went, that's an error. So then I went and I looked through it. And I'm like, oh, my last payment was received on this day. Mm -hmm. And so then I was like, okay, this has to be all um, like uh, 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 interest and like garbage. And then I started looking. And I'm like, there's no interest. There's no, there's no late fees. And then I'm like, oh, my God, am I in collections? I'm like, I haven't heard anything about it. And then, and then, uh, um, uh, uh, I went through my email. I'm like, oh my god, maybe they've been warning me for months. None, yeah. No, nothing, nothing. So that's crazy. They didn't just shut it off. Anyway, long story short, that was a uh, one thing I wanted to tell you guys about. I thought it was funny. I'd wrestle telling you guys because I didn't want the whole like, Wabi, are you baiting subs? No, and honestly, yes, I... <laughs> be honest. I'm not. I'm not. Say, can I please have some subs? Can I please have some subs? <laughs> that's so stupid what's wrong with you <laughs> you just have to ask nicely someone said you have 24k to spare it's not that i have 20 okay do i have 24k to spare how do you determine that did i have to go into debt to pay this well no but at the end of the day if you had to ask me yesterday hey do you have 24k to just set on fire i'd have been like no what the fuck but what do you do what am i gonna call 911 911 what's your mercy i owe money and i don't want to pay it Dude, I spent the, like... What happens when you just ask nicely instead of yelling? <laughs> yeah, like, like, people are acting like, well, dude, I can't... It's like, what about... Dude, how do you not pay? It's a bill. I owe money to a fucking government thing. What do you, what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Get a discount. <laughs> Get a discount? I'm not... I don't wrestle. It's electricity. No, 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 no. I believe that it should be worth less. And you, in fact, I'm... The fact that I didn't get charged interest or anything, I went... I need to wash my hands of this. Uh, so I'd like to share with you guys something that's very uh, uh, funny and awkward. So as you guys know, I have maids that are Mexican, which is okay and not noteworthy. Hi, love you. 16 months. Woo -woo. I don't, I'm going to start the story over. I have maids that I don't know. I don't know what I don't know anything about them and or where they're from. Um. I don't know. I have maids that, that come and clean my house twice a week. And recently we did a P.O. Box stream. And uh, when I do a P.O. Box stream, we have so much extra trash. We pile it behind in, the, in this little area that's right behind my couch. We just pile it there. And then we break down the boxes. And any garbage you guys, you guys are spamming, you're the asshole. What are you even talking about? After the P.O. Box stream, with the help of everyone, we move stuff behind the couch. We have a keep pile of things people sent that we care about and matter. And then we have a toss pile. For example, when you guys send me garbage or when you send a stupid meme that we don't know what to do with. We put it in the toss pile, obviously. <laughs> I kept the poop necklace. I have the poop necklaces still. Uh, it was an argument with Alex. I'm not going to lie to you. But I ultimately kept uh, the poop necklace. I have both of them still. Uh, I don't know where the earrings are, but we do have both poop necklaces. I kind of want to auction it off for like charity or something. I think that'd be a really cool way to get rid of them. Last, uh, 
Last uh, uh, P.O. Box stream, you guys sent me some adult diapers. So we made a pile of trash, and one of the things in that pile, obviously, was the adult diapers that uh, somebody sent to me as a bit of a meme. It's a sealed brand new pack of XL adult men diapers. So uh, the maids come, they do their cleaning. Don't think about it, I'm in my room. Later that night, uh, I go out to look at the, the beautiful house that is now clean and all of the trash is gone. Everything looks great. And there is one package that has been left, that has been laid up again. <laughs> <laughs> There's one package that did not get thrown away. <clears throat> the, uh, oh, it's 2XL, excuse me. The adult diapers uh, that were in a pile of garbage were not only left by the maids, but they were propped up and positioned. <laughs> oh my God. And I, <laughs> so now, not only have the maids found an offensive Mexican joke book that you idiots sent to me, okay? But <laughs> you're saying it's a drive-by? I don't even feel like it's a drive-by, so I deal with the maids. I feel like they look at me now like I'm a man who uses diapers, and they're like, oh, well, we can't throw these out. These are his. He bought these. How did these end up in this trash box? Stop being wasteful! Are you saying I should just fucking wear these then? Yes, you need to wear them. Hey, idiot, you bought it and sent it to me. Donate them? Oh my god, the mo Listen, I know some of you are just trying to get under my skin, but the moral high ground some of you fucking dipshit bozos take is so funny. You're not gonna donate the diapers that I sent to you? Here's the- You know what you are? You're someone who gets someone a fish for Christmas, and then you go, You don't want this burden? What do you mean? I gave this to you. Do the right thing. Anyway, I'm gonna make sure now, instead of donating these, that I'm just gonna burn these into the ozone. I'm, I'm gonna ruin this fucking earth for your kids. I don't give a fuck now. I'm gonna double everything I can to make this shit worse because you're grandstanding over a diaper story, okay? Maybe you should wear these, you fucking crybaby. Anyway, so now I have to, now I have this unfortunate situation where my, my, my maid thinks I'm not only uh, racist, but she thinks I'm a pants shitter. Oh, so she knows you? So she knows you really well, actually? Oh, so she watches stream? No, it's not accurate, okay? It's not funny, and I want you to know that seeing this mortified me. You are, though? No, I'm not. Okay, you're, but you're boiling me down in a way that I don't feel comfortable with. Am I racist? No. Do I shit my pants? No. Have I been racist? Have I shit my pants? Do you see what I'm saying? There's a language choice here. And it's very, it's very, no, I don't, I do not. So anyway, that was embarrassing. Tis what it is. I need to explain something to you guys about Counter-Strike. And I know that there's probably a lot of fans of mine, a lot of viewers who already know a lot about Counter-Strike, okay? But there's probably a lot of you that don't. So if th those who do know, <clears throat> if you give me the opportunity and humor me for a second, I'm gonna go into detail here. Um, so in Counter-Strike, okay, each skin is individualized, right? Each skin is individual to you. It has something called a float. It has something called a wear. And that float, that number, that wear, determines uh, how quality the skin looks. So what do I mean by that, right? The lower the float, the closer that number to zero, uh, the better the skin will look. The higher the float, the worse the skin will look. And typically, Typically, with uh, some exceptions I'm not gonna get into because it's not important, uh, the lower the float, the more expensive the skin. So I am collecting a certain skin. I'm not bringing this to you for any other reason other than it's important to understand the story. So uh, sometimes collectors like to go for the lowest float in the world for a specific skin. I own a few myself. It's a cool thing to have. It's a bit of a flex amongst your friends or people that care or sometimes it just has personal value to own the number one float. So there is a skin called the Op Duality, okay? And uh, a week ago, I purchased uh, the lowest float uh, version of that specific skin. And a few days after it, another one popped up that was even lower float. I'm gonna show it to you now. So this right here 
all these numbers, see how it's 0.00001? This is a low float. This is close to zero. Point zero, it's a low float. So I wanted to purchase this skin. There's a website that a lot of us uh, users use called CSGO Float. Can you guess what that site has on it? It has every weapon with the float and who owns it? Who owns um, that skin? So what did I do? Like a lot of people who use the site, I reached out to the owner privately. He wasn't selling it currently. It wasn't up for sale. So I reached up to him privately uh, on Steam to ask if he'd be willing to sell it to me. I recognized that I would have to overpay for a couple reasons. One, he wasn't selling it, and two, it is the old or the lowest float. All right. The owner at the time, his name is Don Arts, and I'm sure this will eventually reach him. And I want it to. Don Arts was the original owner of this skin. So here are some DMs we shared. I added him as a friend on Steam, and he hit me up uh, simply by saying. Are you interested in buying the op? I don't want to trade. So I said, yeah, I am. I prefer to buy it. I don't want to trade. Just let me know. Uh, my name is Sniffer. I am changing my name again because I'm, I changed my name when I play because I'm tired of getting recognized in games. Because, by the way, some of you are awful. The internet is an awful place. You know what happens when I play games? People won't say anything. And then right as the game ends, you're fucking fat, Wubby. Kill yourself. I knew it was you the whole time. You fucking suck. Kill yourself, fat so Ludwig's better. And I go, okay, I'm just literally in my off time playing games. You knew who I was this entire time. You sat there quietly, giddy with your friends in Discord, okay, excited for work in the morning. This is my moment. I get to say something mean to someone with a higher status. Here I go. So now I change my name in uh, everything that I uh, play. And they still figure it out. Uh, they still figure it out. But regardless, I say, yeah, I'm looking to buy it. Just let me know. And let's go through this. He says, yeah, mate, looking to sell it. What's your offer? So I give him an offer. And uh, by the way, I have been buying a lot of niche, niche skins recently. And here's how it goes, right? To get the conversation started, I, I give an offer that I think is would be a great deal for me. That's how it goes. And the expectation is getting a counter offer. And we go back and forth until we meet somewhere in the middle. And then we both determine if I want to sell it. So I say, yeah, I'll offer you $12.50. Uh, and normally the response to this is hey man that's too low i'm not looking to sell that price or let me think about it or a counter offer those are usually the responses i get okay he responds with nah mate you bought number two for 1100 and this one's far better cheers for the low ball offer though so i instantly when i got this message i was a little off put i was like that was kind of a rude way to say no so immediately i'm like that was odd also if you want to know where my offer came from, uh, I bought the number one op the week prior, okay? And uh, I'm like, okay, this one's the new number one. I'll offer close to what I offered the last number one. He's claiming I bought the number two for that price. No, I didn't, you fucking moron. I bought it when it was number one. Anyway, him laughing. I've dealt with a lot of private sellers. I've never been laughed at. I've dealt with a lot of private sellers. I've never gotten a response like this, but I was like, that was kind of rude, whatever. I continue, I'm like, I still want the op, so I'm not gonna let this guy know that he's been rude. So I'm gonna go, he goes, let me know if you wanna make a serious offer. Again, it's like, I'm sorry, who are you? I'm sorry, who are you? So uh, I continue and I say, hit me with a counter. Look at me being respectful at, <laughs> at 8.30 a.m. <laughs> you might be sitting there going, when does Wubby sleep? I don't know. <laughs> Dude, I'm up, at, I'm up at three, I'm up at four, I'm up at eight. <laughs> Okay, so I go, hit me with a counter. Like, let's talk, bro. We don't need to be rude about it. Again, this isn't noteworthy. I wouldn't bring this to stream yet. I'll be putting it on Buff, which is a Chinese marketplace, by the way. He goes, for $2,200, if you want it, you can have it for $2,000. I think that's high. I think that's a bit of an overpay. I'm like, so I let him know. I say to him, hey, man, 2K seems too high for it. I'm like, I think that's too high of a price. Honestly, way 2200 for a nah, nah. The case hasn't been open out for very long. This is probably gonna get beat again. Uh, it ain't worth it. So then he says, been valued by multiple streamers at 2050, and I had an offer at 1850. 
Someone just said, who cares? You have a ton of money. That right there, my friend, is why you are going to die poor right there. Overpaying because you have money is the dumbest shit I've ever heard in my life. Pay what something is worth, you idiot. Pay what something is worth. When, you, when you're rich, you don't walk into 7-Eleven and pay $500 for a bottle of water because you're rich, you dip. And even if you want to argue doing that, then how about pay the $199 and then go donate the other $400? Okay, what are you talking about? You're brain dead. You're brain dead. Anyway, so I say... I'm a little taken back. I'm like, oh, so somebody else wants this skin and they already offered $18.50. I was like, damn, that's surprising. Someone already offered $18.50. I'm like, fuck, maybe I don't understand the value of this. Maybe I'm ignorant, right? So I say, okay, I see, I see. Who offered the $18.50? I'm like, he's saying somebody offered it. And he goes, somebody named DS. Steam just says he's a guy from Denmark. And I'm like, okay, are you going to list it on CSGO Float then? And he's like, yeah, I'll probably sell for $1,900. Uh, if we can make a deal, right? If not, I'll put it on buff. And I said, okay, I'll do 1900 on float. I'll do 1700 directly to you. So there's no fees if we do it in crypto. Okay, so keep in mind, everybody, my offer has gone through the roof now because this guy's claiming somebody else offered 1850. I'm now in a bidding war with some other guy. And I'm like, fuck, I want this skin. I don't want to let it go. I guess I'm going to overpay whatever. I'm being very generous. I'm trying to work it out with this guy. I have to fight. I'm fighting some other bozo who probably has an attachment to it too. Fine, right? So he says, is that your offer? Might have to change. Okay, so, oh, I forgot about this. In Counter-Strike, you can put a name tag on your uh, gun. Uh, this guy misspeaks here. He says sticker. He means name tag. But for no reason in the middle of conversation, he takes a shot at my number one skin that I have. You might want to change the name tag on the number two up because it said number one when I bought it. So he takes a jab at a customer now. He goes, by the way, you don't own the number one anymore. You might want to change it to say number two because you're a bozo. So again, I'm looking at this and I'm like, this guy's kind of an asshole and I'm potentially bidding for his skin, but whatever. I'm not sensitive. I'm just like, that was a kind of a weird thing to say, bit of an ego play on this guy. So then I let it cook. I let it sit. He says he's going to think about it. He says he'll get back to me later. So I do some browsing. I'm just on my Steam. I'm on my friends list. And I realized something through a recent conversation I'm having. There's somebody in my recent, uh, in my recent Steam chat by the name of DS. And it just so happens that that person is from Denmark. And when I click on DS's profile, I realize something. DS is also friends with uh, Don Arts, the guy I'm trying to buy a skin from. And if you notice, he said someone called DS is from Denmark. So I've already had two successful purchases from DS. He's been very kind, not a scammer. He follows me on Twitter. We've worked a lot out together. So I hit up DS and I go, hey, man, are, are we bidding against each other on this op? I haven't offered him anything. I might use my money elsewhere. Are, are you wanting it? So I, I go, bro, he told me you did. I think he's trying to use our bids against each other. It's no big deal if you're actually bidding on it. I just want to catch, catch his ass if he lied. So DS, being the stand-up trader he is, sent me a screenshot of his conversations with Don Arts. Here's what's happened in that conversation. Uh, are you interested in the op? If so, what's your offer? Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. Oh, buddy! Uh-oh! Here come the walls! They're crashing down now! Oh, so you can imagine. You can imagine how mad I was that not only this fucking con artist, dipshit, loser bozo tried to use a fake shill bid to get me to raise my bid, but he used a fake shill bid through someone I'm friends with. I put this on the same level as he going, I got an offer for, th for three grand from someone named Vilified Peanut. Uh, and so if you, wanna, if you want it, you gotta beat that offer. Uh, you're gonna beat the offer? Okay, cool. Hey, dipshit, maybe cross-reference who I'm friends with before you start doing fake bids. So wait, okay, so now you might be saying, well, you, you take everything personally. Have you, are you, 
I'm, are you, I'm, I, I really don't even want to use this word. Are you fucking retarded? I just caught a scammer. I caught a scammer trying to use shill bids from a friend we share to get, to extort more money out of me. What is wrong with you, you dip? Uh, anyway, let me continue. All right, so I decide, I say, you know what? I'm not going to let this guy get away with it. Um, so this is me and DS, the homie talking. I said, bro, this little snake. And he goes, what did he tell you? He said he offered you 1850. He said, what the fuck? You sure he didn't? He, DS is trying to be fair. He's like, are you sure it's not somebody else? So then I send my boy a screenshot of my conversation with uh, the scammer. And he goes, LOL, I'm going to tell him I'm not interested. And you can see what he says. So, uh, uh, every salesman is a scammer now. What? Wait, okay, hold, this is actually something I wanted to bring up to you guys. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. This is an interesting conversation because that's kind of the defense this guy used. Okay, so here's him, him and I talking. Sounds good. Get back to me. I'll let you say, hey, man, I'm going to drop my offer back down to 1600 He goes, all good. I have someone at 1800 I said, brother, next time you try to use a fake offer against me, make sure I'm not friends with the guy. Ha 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 ha. Right? Called his dumb ass out. So then you would think you just got called out. It's time to fall on your sword like an adult does. Be a human being and take the L, right? No, he's just going to insult me. Yeah, all good, man. Don't worry. Enjoy your number two skin. Make sure you change the name tag on it so it doesn't say lowest. Holy sh... Bro got called out so fucking hard. You know you're in the wrong when you just, well, you know, you have the number two anyway. You have the number two anyway. So then he tries to call me out for being scummy. He tries to, this is where I lost my mind, okay? He says, you offered twelve fifty in your first offer. Isn't that scummy? So then I had to school this like literal child. A low ball offer to get the conversation is not scummy. And even if you want to make the argument that it is, it's nowhere near the level of con of falsifying an offer to leverage more money out of somebody. You got caught. You doubled down. That's that. That's on you, bro. He said, yeah, easy, easy. And I said, monumental L certified forklift moment. Once again, I still own the number one and it will sell. So why did I want to talk about this? Well, boys, the reason why I want to talk about this <clears throat> is because I do not think that this per person has, and I talked to DS about this, and he agreed. He's like, no, you should not falsify bids. That is so fucked up to do. Uh, I have money. I can afford to overpay. But uh, some kid might not. Some kid might not have enough to pay. So, ladies and gentlemen, here is the person. If you're curious who he is, uh, I just want to make sure that uh, everybody knows who this is. This person does fake bids. Their name is Don Arts. Their Steam. Here, I'm going to put their profile in chat. I just want to make sure every... And I want to be clear here. I just want to make sure everybody knows who this person is because I not oh, no, listen, 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 listen. Let me be, I need to be fair here. You're saying Wubby stop. What am, what do you mean Wubby stop? I'm letting kind of fucked. I'm letting everybody know this person cons people out of money. Okay. Just making sure you guys know who it is. I'm not saying anything. Don't do nothing. This is this guy's public Steam profile who tried to con me. Sorry. Sorry. That's that. I'm not calling anybody to do nothing. I do not think this is a reputable seller. I will not buy from this person personally, and I want to make sure chat does not buy from this person ever again for the rest of their life. He made his profile private already. He knew it was coming. He knew it was coming. Also, he removed me as a friend. Doxing? Are you brain dead? Are you brain dead doxing? My Steam profile is public for everybody to come to. So was his. It's a Steam profile. Doxing? Have you lost your mind, bro? Don't make fun of my Steam balance at $1.93. Don't make fun of that. <clears throat> Here's the thing, right? Here's the thing. I sat there and I wrestled with, do I talk about this publicly? Here's ultimately why I did. If this guy hit me up and been like, ah, you're right, my fault. I'm sorry. Like, that was a little bit fucked up. Let's work out a deal. If he did that, um, I wouldn't have said anything about it. But the fact that this dude got called out for trying to con me, and his response was to make fun of me and attack me, it's like, homie, I would not be surprised if this guy has legitimately stolen money from people. 
Showing someone's public Steam profile is not doxing, you dip. I want to make sure that I got lucky that I was friends with the guy who was putting a shill bid up for. I got lucky. If I didn't, I would have overpaid against no one. And now you might be saying, Wubby, this is what every car dealer... So? That doesn't make it right. If a car dealer referenced my friend doing a shill bid, I'd be just as mad. And guess what? If you're not mad about that, you're kind of a sheep. If you went to a dealer and they said, yeah, Robert uh, already put in a bid for 22K. And you're like, okay, I'll do 25K. And then you're friends with Robert and he goes, I never put a bid. That dealer would be in shambles. If you walk in with Robert and he goes, hey, I didn't put this bid in. Would the dealer go, well, that's too bad. Guess you got to go to a different dealership. Nah, you guys are fucking stupid. That's crazy, dude. That's true. That's crazy. I, it's actually, it's it's not right, but it's normal. I, I, what the fuck? Dude, I sell skins. I have sold, I have fake bids. That is the fuck? One of the biggest Magic the Gathering auction houses was absolutely decimated for this. This is a huge problem in collectibles that both in video game collectibles and for me personally i'm very invested in magic the gathering collectibles this is a huge problem in the community and not only is it a problem we hate people who do this this shit is this is so grimy it is the grimiest of the grime to extort money out of someone leveraging a fake offer that is so gr and defending that is just pathetic it's pathetic it's not rich people problems. It's pathetic. Chat, it's only a bad sales technique because he got caught. Yeah, if he didn't get caught, think about that for a second. Think about that. Um, so yeah, there you go. Pretty unethical. There you go. Mad about pixels? Is the money that leaves my account just pixels too? Like, where do we draw the line? Mad about pixels. Bro, I'm mad that this homeboy nearly got money out of me by faking a bid from someone I know. Like I was even do I was talking to this with someone the other day to bounce it off. And I was like, you know what? I probably wouldn't be as mad if he just would have said, I got an offer. And if I said who from, if he would have been like, I can't tell you. That's that then. What, what, what can I do then at that point, right? That's that. Homeboy pick someone I know that I do business with. Un but look at his usernames. Crusty Vaginal Warts. Top G Tate. Are you guys going to still defend the Andrew Tate fan? Really? Are you guys going to defend the Andrew Tate fan? What world are we living in where this chat has found a way to cope and find defense in... Well, uh, it's wrong, but it's normal, Wubby. Oh, okay, so anytime I do something wrong now, I'm just going to say, well, it's, it happens all the time. What's wrong with you people? You know what? I'll, you know what? I will take... Whatever amount of people here who are off put by this, I will take this very minor L. If it means I get to help one person not buy a skin from this moron, I will take this apps. I will take everybody in my chat saying, Wubby, you're wrong, which they're not doing, but I will take every person in the world telling me that. If it means I get to protect one other person from buying a skin from this guy using shill bids, okay? I, I refreshed. It's a lot of people sharing experiences um, with him. The comments? I have no control over who comments on what. I'm not encouraging anybody to comment anything. If someone had an experience with this guy, then that's for them to share. I was... This guy used fake bidding to try to uh, leverage more money out of me. And that's my experience I'm sharing with you guys. These comments, it sounds like other people... I don't know. I, that's not my business. You have 17,000 viewer, viewers. Is the implication there that somebody trying to get money out of me, I shouldn't talk about it? Bro, I warned this guy too. I warned this guy. I literally in the chat, I was like, dude, you could have handled this. You Every opportunity he had to just take the L would have been the moment I would have been like, hey man, it's all good. He doubled. You know what the problem is? He thought he could get away with it because he didn't think I had a voice. And you guys want to support people like that? That's disgusting. What's wrong with you guys? That's disgusting. What the fuck? Y'all are so... Bro, what the... This is actually kind of flooring me a little bit. That people are... Dude. It, it, it... Oh my god. This is flooring me right now.
Most people agree with me. I'd say 90% of chat agrees. I want to weed out the 10%. I don't want your viewership. I don't want your money. I don't want anything to do with people who think that in any way this guy is defensible. It's mind melting. B falsifying bids to get more money out of someone. Not to mention this guy does not know I'm a well-off streamer. He knew nothing about me. For all this guy knows, for all this guy knows, this is the, like, this is the biggest purchase of my life. What are you guys talking about? Guys, there's very little that I have a problem with, like moral. You guys know this. I'm pretty lax on the moral shit, right? Scamming money, go back as far as my oldest videos. Scamming money is something I do not have even the slightest patience for. And just because now I have more money than I used to, it's almost like people think I'm, I deserve it. It's very odd. It's very self-reporting. It's very embarrassing. Okay. Yes. I happen to be the guy that caught this dude, right? Sure. True. But what if I wasn't me? What if I was me that worked at a grocery store? What if I was me that worked at an office and I was saving money and I finally saved enough money to buy this skin that I really wanted? He deserves overpay because he lied? What's wrong with you people? What the fuck? Some of the chat's retarded. The thought that it should be, shouldn't be talked about because Wubby has an audience is asinine. Scumbag should not be protected for having to reach out. And I agree, dude. Also, it's not this, I didn't, here's the thing too. I don't think people are saying that. I think they're saying that this guy's not scummy. I think that's what people are saying is, and like, I totally agree. There's no way, I, I'm, I'm a big proponent of don't affect somebody's work. Like, I'm not going to go to this guy's fucking office or his wife. Or, I don't give a fuck about any of that. I went to his Steam page, chat. I went to his Steam page. I'm fully on board with, yes, this guy does not deserve to have his life ruined. Not even close. Not even close. You know what he does deserve? To not have someone buy a skin from him. I will humor, I will humor the incorrect side here for the sake of uh, conversation right now. Wubby, you weaponized your audience against this guy. Okay, let's talk about that. What did I do? What is the ramification on this guy's life? So what could chat do in this case? They can comment on his profile. So what does that do? What are Steam comments? Well, first off, he can make his pro pro profile private and this will end. That is where this will end. He can make his profile private and that is where this will end for him. He can delete comments and that is where this will end for him. Uh, how does this affect his life? Maybe he might struggle to sell a skin in the future. Maybe. Don't know why that's necessarily a bad thing because he's using immoral tactics to make sales. Uh, how does this affect him beyond that? Seriously, you're saying everyone's saying weaponizing my audience. Can you please explain to me what I've done to him, what I could even do to him? Is that not brigading? No, brigading would be telling people to go do something. I didn't tell anybody to do anything. I spoke about a story that happened to me between me and this guy, and I showed you who the guy was. You didn't tell him to, but the implication was strong. But, but, okay, but, but I already went through what the result is, chopsticks. I already went through. Yes, the implication is strong. Sure, if you want to say that, that's your prerogative. What does that mean then? He gets comments on his profile warning people to be cautious when buying from him. Oh, God forbid. If I went to a dealership, a car dealership, and I caught one of the salesmen making a fake bid using someone I know, I would also draw as much attention to it as possible. People should know.